Right, doing very well. I've come across the area of Outstanding Beauty through the tall ferns. Obviously you can't see quite as much, but we did get views of Barrington Coombe. It's now quarter past one. So we've got a good four and a half hours. And this is the back down hills, various walks you can do. There's a walk where you can go straight up there, there's a walk where you can carry on, pick up a track. I've just emerged from there. Um, and we're fo I'm following the lower track. If I was going to go, let me see, across the top to the peak, um, to the trick point and over to uh, Piney Slights that way. I would go up there and then across across the top over that way. But what, I, what I'm doing is um, I'm not going that way. I'm going to go towards Longwood. So across Piney Slights and, uh, and I don't know where these people are going. I don't want to get them on video, a minute. And, um... Down to Cheddar that way. So what I'm doing now, I'm not going up that way. I'm going to follow this route here. And then go down through a couple of fields. You can bet your life every time I start video and someone comes along. Um, so anyway, so we're leaving that junction point. Two people just emerged from a gate down the bottom. They've come from Burrington Coombe. There's a car park there as well. A small car park just down there if people wanted to just not hike like I do, you know, but the they drive very close to the area of Outstanding Beauty and then do their walking. And it's amazing that there's two people who just emerged then. And uh, they got, it's a hot day, they've got no um, obvious hats on or anything. They've got no, and they're going up to the exposed area. Neither have got a bag, they've got no water and no food. She's got like a dress on. <sighs> Possibly all they're doing is walking up the hill and back. Some people might just do that, see? Just climb up the top and then come back down again. Everyone's got different reasons for walking. It's just that p people are interesting, aren't they? <sighs> people are interesting. I've just had to put my charger on battery charger on the camera so we're now following them um, we're skirting the area of outstanding beauty on the complete opposite side of what I did a week or so ago And there's some beautiful views over there. You can see right over to Wells, W-A-L-E-S, from here. And even better, when you hurry up you go, of course. That's Wells over there. The River Severn, the Bristol Channel. Now in theory, in theory I could encounter three different sets of cows in a minute, which include bull, in theory. 
but if it's milking time, one set will be making their way to be milked. That's the long, what I call the longwood. I've got the longwood cows, the piney slight cows, and the... I haven't got a name for this lot up here, but they're like near the area of outstanding beauty. But it could be, it's coming up for milking time. They all start making their way to the cow shed for two o'clock. Could be. Now, not long ago, Not a long time to go, I mean. Um, they could harvest this bracken again. But whether I've never seen it done until last year. But again, I'm not always up here. Right, so I'm, I'm actually going uphill now if my breathing sounds a bit laboured. I'm actually going uphill. It's a steady climb, this one. But you're still going uphill, though. But it is a little bit more sheltered, I find. If you want to have a little rest in the shade for a minute, you've got it here. If you go up on where those people that I saw a minute ago, they're going in, in very, very exposed. Which is what you get when you go across the very top. Where I went, following the bottom tracks, you've got lots of little trees and bushes. Just like here, you get a bit of shade, you see. But I do walk across the top, I do do it. I do like being, sometimes I just love that heat. I can hear a funny bird. It's making like, it's like a crow noise, but I didn't reckon it's a crow. I don't know what it is. Of course, the other side of me on the left here is arable farmland which is also accessible by various gates. Locals will know, of course. <sighs> Through that gate, you can follow <sighs> various tracks up and down through this beautiful countryside. <sighs> beautiful Somerset. Horses with their big coats on. That's to keep the horse flies off them, by the way. <coughs> That's why they often wear them. Looks mean, doesn't it, in hot weather, but that's what the... F I think, I'm sure that's why they have to wear them. Keep the flies off. I'm doing quite a lengthy video here, so you get a real idea of the terrain. Like I say, I'm a plodder. I wasn't always a plodder. I was a runner and I was a fast walker. But I plod now and I like plodding. This is for plodders. We live in a very ageist society still. But I think it has improved. Because um, people don't exactly fall into the stereotypical rolls so much now. I mean, it's got all this gay freedom, haven't you? Uh, Colour is still a problem, but still not as bad as the 50s. Even the 70s were bad. Uh, there's a lot more equality, but we've got a long way to go still for women around the world. In some cultures, old people are 
valued a lot more than in others. I mean, we're lucky we get our pensions, we get our bus passes, we can't moan too much in some ways. We've still got the NHS, even though it's being ripped apart by the Tories and the money grabbers who want to make insurance out of people. That's all it is. The reason they want to get rid of the NHS is they want to make a lot of money out of people. If you break their le your leg, they know you need it mended and they want to charge you for it. The idea of the NHS was to come out of your pay. You can, your contributions every week from the time you left school are supposed to cover that. It wasn't free. You've been paying for it. It's like when people go on about our pensions. I paid for my pension. National insurance stamps and money that came out designed for the pension pot. And I'm glad we get bus pass, to be quite honest, because it's very expensive to keep a vehicle. I mean, I've got my old bird here, which is my camper van. But there's so many bills to pay all the time uh, for on other things that I don't get away in there as much as I'd like because of the cost of the fuel. Plus, I have to pay all the other things to keep her on the road. Tax, insurance, MOT, RAC. All has to be paid, and it's a big chunk every month just to keep her on the road without even going anywhere. But I've got her there. She's symbolic of freedom. She's my symbol of my freedom. And if I really did feel like it, I just can start her up and go. And I do feel like it lots. And I will be going off at some point to Cambridgeshire where I want to do some more family tree work and go and visit ancestral graves that I do every couple of years, go and place flowers. Yes, I've got a lot of family. Oh, well, I've got loads of family in London, I mean, I've got family I don't even know are still living here share ancestors with me loads of them right, I'm turning off for a minute